We're all naturally competitive, whether we're fighting for a prize or just bragging rights. And great games have the ability to tap into these instincts and make us want to try to achieve more. Looking at current market trends, gamification is already huge in education, business processes, and user experience. So how can we bring these same engaging features into our SaaS apps? That's exactly what we'll be getting into today. Hey there, I'm Derek, Art Director here at Sidon, and in this video, we'll take a look at five products utilizing gamification techniques that you can steal for your SaaS products. But first off, a quick rundown of what exactly gamification is and why it's important. Gamification in a nutshell is the introduction of game-like elements into a non-game environment to keep your users engaged. In business terms, gamification helps with retention and engagement. Because gamification is fairly new to the SaaS industry and technology in general, it makes sense to borrow ideas and best practices from other industries. So in no particular order, let's get into it. The relocate.me progress bar is our first example today. One of the best features here is the 5% progress bar that encourages users to finish the form. There's also a green dot indicating the desired goal or the minimum data required for the app to work, as well as the tooltip emphasizing the importance of correctly filling out the form. For your own products, just keep in mind that when it comes to filling out lengthy questionnaires, the progress bar is the most effective way to motivate users to actually finish. The second example is the leaderboard game mechanics from Genius. Genius is a website with a large collection of song lyrics that relies on a steady stream of submissions to keep up with the newest releases. Because of this, the Genius site has created a reward system and a leaderboard to reward website submissions. This creates a win-win situation because the site gets new content regularly and users can brag about their stats. In your product, creating a competition to provide additional incentives and rewards for product usage can help encourage users to use your product on a regular basis. Next up is Upwork Milestone Unlock. Upwork, of course, being the massive freelance marketplace. With their Milestone Unlock feature, employers and freelancers can establish milestones. This is somewhat similar to like a progression level in a video game. Uh, like an epic journey with a clear end goal that encourages users to keep playing. You can apply the same strategy by encouraging creativity and task completions whenever possible. If you give your users a goal, help them figure out how to achieve it. If the user decides the goal, give them the tools to create their own levels or paths. Number four is magnetic caps from Grammarly. Grammarly really takes advantage of our busy lives by quickly scanning our documents, fixing obvious mistakes, while also pointing out a slew of other errors made. You could probably fix these on your own if you had the time, but it's much easier just to subscribe and unlock all of the corrections quickly. You can use this method by giving away some functionality while keeping the rest for when the user really needs it. But it's always important to consider the ethical implications of these kinds of tactics. And the fifth great example is PlayStation Achievements. PlayStation has used a pretty powerful gamification technique by including information on the rarity of the trophies in their achievement features. The fact that only 7% of players have obtained the trophy just adds to its attraction. When implementing this strategy, consider including information about how many users complete a task or achieve a goal to entice them to join a specific group. It could be a majority group who have achieved a goal or a circle of elite users. In either case, with careful phrasing, it's possible to make it work. As a bonus, I would also like to mention the Monobank app here in Ukraine is a great example of a similar technique. They offer a bunch of bank-based achievements such as purchasing 10 books at a bookstore or using your credit for three months, which appears on a leaderboard displaying your ranking amongst all the other users. That's not something you would expect from a banking app. If you want to learn more about gamification, we have a comprehensive article on our website with many more examples along with methods. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share, like, subscribe, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and our experts will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.